My friends, there is a new The Warning song. You know, I hate the new The Warning record. Uh, uh, no hypocrisy is here. I am every time sincere. I'm not loving at all the new record. The, uh, it's not because of the effects. I like the effects. Muse band, one of my favorite band ever, the Muse, every time they are every time using effects, especially on the bass, there is no, this is not the problem. The problem is the um, composition level they starting being a little bit goofy even and not inspired to me more uh, less original however now we go reacting to automatic sun the new song and we react to this live with the studio version go Nice start, but similar to Evolve. Uh, not Evolve, maybe Choke song. However, similar to a riff into error record. However, nice start. Back. That bass there seems to be played with nails, you know what I mean? This is cool but the song itself is poor, also in the verse. Um, it's not giving honor to Daniela excellent skills in singing, but here I'm listening a better drum groove than in the last song, so forward. Okay, wait girl, I will be back for your drum feel. Uh, my friends, this is sounding a little bit better than Hell You Call a Dream, uh, less obvious the song, uh, more interesting composition level, especially in, in the drumming and the bass with effects is an idea that I'm not loving here. I prefer in the Hell You Call a Dream song the, the reverb in the bass, the effects, the distortion. Uh, but 
still, uh, I'm not a lover, really, not a lover of the topic of this record here. It's kind of erotic, uh, sensual, uh, there is a kind of erotic, sensual meaning, uh, kind of kind of sexual secrets inside every single song that to me is not fitting with the age of the warning but especially of course they are more than teenagers but they have not the experience in feelings uh, an adult person is having and it's not fitting with them with their age but especially it's not fitting I think um, with the incredible, uh, profound sense of every single record they did before. So I'm not loving this kind of topic. Appreciating outro from the song, but uh, what I like in this song, oh, the title is cool, Automatic Sun. Not bad at all, my friend. You know I'm a disappointed fan, you know well. But this song is better than How You Call a Dream because of the excellent drumming inside. And there is something more uh, original in some little pieces of the song in the composition. How You Call a Dream is a total commercial song. And the other the song, the, the quiet one is Spanish, is terrible, please, my friends. Uh, this one is better, but I, I repeat myself again. You, you know, well, there is a band, very famous Italian band called Maneskin, that with this kind of lyrics, uh, with that kind of topics there, are smashing the world with an incredible success and fame, and they took the fame. Maybe uh, the people around the warning are considering to create something similar for them. But for me, it doesn't work for them. Because I was at the warning fans because they were different from Maneskin, completely different. Uh, profound and deep lyrics and contents and meanings. And now everything is more sluggish, you know what I mean? Even in, in the meaning of uh, the lyrics. However, this one is not bad, uh, but I still don't like this record, new record, my friends. What do you know? My opinion. And for Italian people, eh, ragazzi, l'altra volta mi avete detto, non capendo dall'inglese, no, no, non si assomiglia a Maneskin, sto parlando dei testi, hanno iniziato a fare testi erotici che poco si addicono alla loro età, secondo me, a livello di esperienze che possono avere a livello di sensualità c'è cioè sta cosa mi, mi graffico le tue unghie eh, insomma mi fai queste cose cioè que in questo senso hanno preso le topiche dei maneskin ma senza essere degli zozzoni come maneskin delle zozzoni come maneskin nel senso buono del termine <coughs> e quindi questo non sta funzionando con loro di conseguenza no comunque questa canzone 
si, pu- si becca un 5 è meglio di Hell You Call It Dream perché c'è un ottimo batterismo e non mi lamento degli effetti sul basso è che semplicemente sulla loro musica non, non è una musica complessa come quella di Muse che c'è bisogno di tutta questa roba detto questo vi saluto amici miei ciao a presto